So today being uh, day two, uh, let me just quickly share the screen. Yeah, we'll discuss further. Okay. <clears throat> so I was uh, saying yesterday that, uh, I mean, in the demo also, I said, maybe you can go on mute now. So we have, uh, <clears throat> uh, when I said uh, uh, ERP or Different companies are providing uh, the SAP. It's gone again. Yeah, so I think uh, it's working now. So as per the market uh, trend, uh, we okay. have uh, SAP uh, is the top, uh, as I was saying in the demo. So SAP one of the uh, most uh, populous and popular uh, ERPs in the market. And we also have Oracle. Same same like SAP, we also have Oracle. They they render the services uh, as uh, SAP does, but uh, as compared to SAP, they, there are minimal. So. In earlier days, before uh, this ERPs uh, like SAP or Araki uh, were there, uh, were not there, uh, JD Edwards was the top top companies. Of course, JD Edwards still being used by so many companies. Mm, now this is replaced with Araki and SAP. Okay, and uh, before uh, JD Edwards simultaneously, uh, AS400, AS400, where is uh, it is uh, as same as uh, JD AdWords looks like. The look wise, it is the same one. And the usage also, usage and feel also the same when you look at the screens. That's uh, in one of my sessions I was asking uh, to understand easily. It, 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 it shows in uh, DOS mode, MS DOS mode. Okay. And uh, we, we also have IBM, one of the uh, uh, biggest uh, uh, software company across globe and uh, PeopleSoft is one of those and uh, we are we I, I did not name a few of them but uh, these are the top uh, ERPs so coming to SAP modules uh, I think I have already covered this one in the demo but uh, let me just uh, deeply uh, give a deep or brief introduction or some insight of uh, the module that we are going to learn and other modules we where we will be touching slightly and uh, there are few modules which we are not going to touch anymore right so when i say FICO, so fi is finance and uh, co is controlling so fi uh, is uh, said to be the it's said to be used for uh, posting of uh, all the financial transaction in FI module and when it comes to CO it is a uh, it is it is purely for management reporting and uh, uh, what is the cost and what what, are, what is the profitability at that point in time to get to know uh, it will be uh, useful uh, to the stakeholders and management to take the decisions the controlling part okay and uh, as part of fi we also have uh, one of the sub module called a asset management uh, which is uh, we, which we are completely working on the asset management uh, uh, when i say asset management it, it comes into you you should be thinking you should be thinking in uh, the fixed assets uh, perspective so uh, when a company starts when a company uh, want to establish they have to have uh, all the um, all the setup such as fixed assets current assets uh, there should be uh, they should be having some uh, premises office and uh, and uh, they also have uh, current assets as well but uh, uh, as we are talking about fixed assets yes so fixed assets are something which is used for longer uh, time and uh, longer use for the production purposes or for the official use so we will be touching on uh, the fixed assets part uh, to depreciate the assets and uh, running depreciation with the help of posting, uh, I mean, the depreciation case. And uh, most importantly, this fixed assets is running, will be run on the chat of depreciation. 
okay and we we will be uh, touching on mm and sd so when i say mm it is uh, something related related to purchases and sd means uh, the sales uh, once the product is completed uh, if you are uh, if you are in sales industry or manufacturing industry you will be buying material raw material uh, it comes in mm and when you are making it as a uh, final product it will be uh, deemed as a uh, sales product so then uh, when when you are selling it, it the sd would come into picture so uh, see uh, all the other modules such as hr workflow uh, project system warehouse management and plant management uh, quality management product planning these are all uh, the other modules which we are not aware uh, i mean which we are not touching on because we are purely uh, related to fico and finance uh, related things we will be doing with it so in other modules uh, we will we, we do not have much on no, finance front okay so let me quickly get into technical thing on sap okay so when we talk about uh, the different modules uh, in sap so we have uh, functional modules and we have technical modules right so we have functional modules we have technical module so once you are uh, once you are accustomed to this training and mm -hmm. once you learned everything uh, you will be called as functional consultant why means you will be uh, working on these things fi finance so mm am sales and distribution hum human resource mm -hmm. we will not be touching it but it comes under functional modules of course, there are few other modules which are said to be functional uh, modules and we, uh, you will be calling it as functional consultant roles. Okay, so what we what uh, what are we going to do in finance, controlling, management, material management, asset management, sales and distribution. So these all will be covered in our next sessions when we are getting into configuration part. In practical sessions, you will be getting to know all these things. So don't worry about that. So when it comes to technical module, so what are the technical modules majorly? So most of the times, uh, the uh, the <coughs> FI and CO consultants are mostly touch base with ABAP and basis consultants. These people will also be sitting beside you in in the office premises, and they will be working on the technical front. So. So if I talk about ABAP, so it is something, uh, the abbreviation of uh, ABAP is Advanced Business Applications Programming. And uh, basis consultant, uh, what he does, he will be transporting the data. So you, you have one more slide in this. So you'll be getting to know all these things uh, in detail. Okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, the business application software integrated solution is the full form of basis okay so when we get into uh, more into sap the configuration uh, you will be get to know what are functional consultants and who are i would say who are functional consultants and who are the technical consultants okay so we are said to be functional consultant as, as i was saying some time back okay so so we'll be uh, touching on all these things. Don't worry. Uh, so you will be getting to know uh, more what what are the different types of uh, functional and technical consultants apart from those which are uh, on screen. Okay. Uh, once you become SAP consultant, so you will be assigned some uh, task uh, in a company when you join. Let's say uh, you have joined uh, in TCS and uh, the moment you joined, you will be uh, you will be having the NHO and uh, new hire orientation, all this stuff. And after which the task will be given to you. So the task is called as project. Okay. So if you are working in a in 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 any of the BPO, uh, I'm not really sure what the company that you are working in, but it means uh, when when any work is being assigned to you, it means you are working under 
a specific project okay so which uh, pertains to a project so when when i say project uh, let's say uh, as i said you are working uh, just assume you are working for a uh, tcs and uh, tcs has got their clients uh, such as genpact uh, just an example such as genpact and uh, maybe some uh, small companies not uh, multinational companies they this what tcs does uh, they tcs will be helping uh, in conferring configuring the sap erps and they will be supporting okay so these are all things will you will be getting to know uh, very in detail uh, when you when you explore more on uh, this subject okay so there are uh basically there are four type of project that we have in uh as a functional consultant will you will be given the project i said so in projects let me share the slide if i have okay i don't have anything i'll read out you can uh, note it down so so there are uh, there are uh, actually four type of uh, project that uh, any project has okay any work around has so you may note it down so one is implementation project okay and the other one is rollout project and upgrade pro sorry you can type uh, you can type your question i am unable to hear you type your question here i am writing here in the uh, chat box so what are the modules that we have uh Uh, Ravitej, I can't hear you. I have given the uh, project names in the chat box. Implementation project. Hello. Hello, uh, Raviteja. I can't hear you. Hello. You can type your question here. Sir. Oh. You may not doubt on the type G and chat box. Hello. Ah, hello. you got a chat chat box hello? Hello? Ah, hello, hello. hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Ah, you can type here. I am. Hello. 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 Hello, Ravitej, are you? Hello? Sir? Uh, is something wrong with my internet today? Okay, okay anyhow, are you able to uh, hear me? Uh, you were asking something. Ch chat box, sir. Message is already. And the second one in Pinchale then Maliadina Sir of Tangaladani. Second project okay. rollout project. Ah, rollout. We have uh, implementation is the first one which I told, and the rollout, upgrade project, and support project. Okay. Mm. So I'll be explaining about uh, these things in detail now. Okay. Okay, so in uh, functional modules, as, as I was saying that uh, 
we have uh, the first one is the implementation project okay so when i say implementation project i think i have one of these slides here but i don't know i'm unable to find it no worries so <clears throat> what is implementation so do you know anything any 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 rough guess can you tell me anything about implementation Impl implementation ante adi oka danni adi adu cheppani ga sir ante oka danni prarambhinchadam aha okay right so implementation means something uh, a company uh, let's say a, a small company uh, starting yeah yeah so you are right starting but uh, let me put in uh, the technical terms so let's say you have uh, apollo uh, pharmaceuticals okay in apollo it has it has got so many branches across a city so uh, it is using some uh, tally just an example okay so they are using the tally they wanted uh, to start some new erp which will help them uh, reporting and uh, it will be helpful for their day to day business transactions so what they have done they have reached one of the uh, implementation company as i said you are working in a uh, tcs and tcs is the uh, uh, service provider for the sap implementation <coughs> okay so in the within uh, implementation we have two types of implementations okay so uh, one is greenfield implementation maybe if you want you can write it down let me write in a uh, let me share a, share the screen in word or note i'll write here and you can note it down are you able to see the screen Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Good. Where is it going? So, in the implementation, we have greenfield. and brownfield so these are the two types of implementations uh, when we talk about implementation about that so as i said uh, we have four types of uh, project that we have one is implementation one is roll out and the other one is upgrade project and the last one is support project so out of all these the implementation part uh, is something which is uh, covered by two sub uh, projects maybe uh, any company may opt as per the requirement they can opt as per the requirement so one is greenfield project and the other one is brownfield project so what is greenfield so greenfield is something uh, i would say uh, it's uh, it's completely new thing completely new project which means you are setting up when i say you it is uh, the company who wants this uh, erp to be set up okay you are setting up in erp so let's take an example uh, uh just an example that you have opened uh, as a being a, a manufacturer uh, of a company so you don't have anything as a software that you are using or uh, uh, what is, what do you call it as uh, erp that you are using but however uh, you have contacted uh, 
the companies erp companies implementation companies and you requested them to implement something uh, which you uh, since you are a new uh, new in the market and you don't have any erp installed in your uh, current organization or the factory or the industry so they will come and they will start installing each and every aspect so it is a fresh and first time installation of an sap in any of the organization okay that is called it as implementation project so it is completely entire new implementation project from scratch they will start okay so it these projects may be uh, uh, split into four to five phases uh, which will be which we will be discussing uh, in the uh, in the future course of classes okay i think this will end uh, soon uh, please rejoin after uh, if it ends okay okay sir yeah so it will uh, maybe it will take uh, one week of time uh, we will be getting full version of uh, zoom or teams so until then please bear with us okay okay yeah so uh, once uh, once a company is reaching you and uh, they ask you so can you please uh, implement uh, as a green field what you have to do you have to understand what that company is pert uh, pertaining to is that a manufacturing is that a uh, sales i mean a service industry maybe you can go on mute please so uh, if if that is a sales industry or it is a, a I, as i was saying yesterday uh taking an example of uh, zomato or amazon so that kind of any any kind of companies you need to understand what kind of setup that you have to perform maybe you you need to uh, you need to know what what all the gls what all the uh depreciation methods and everything everything each and everything you have to start from scratch okay so that is call it as greenfield so when it comes to brownfield as i was saying one of the other modules in implementation uh, as a project sorry uh, sorry to say that uh, modules i will correct myself other project type brownfield okay so the one uh, let's say uh, in in as i was uh, the company which i am talking which i was talking about apollo pharmaceuticals right apollo uh, pharmaceuticals has already been started using the tally as an erp right so what they have come up they wanted to implement something uh something uh better better erp which will help them okay so they have reached you and they requested you to implement something uh some some new erp which is why not sap okay so they have reached you so what in this uh, brownfield project you will be you will be assessing what all the accounts that they have in legacy system so this tally is now being called it as legacy so from legacy to sap we have to configure all these things uh, all the uh, transportation i would say transportation from tally to new erp new sap system is called it as brownfield project okay so once this brownfield project is over uh you will be giving them uh, for the production so i'll touching on the what kind of uh, production system or quality system or development systems uh, we will be discussing in today's class but in later point of time okay so uh the other project that i was talking about is rollout project so what is rollout project if a company feels Uh, after you implemented here be it greenfield be it uh, um, brownfield so once you have set up everything everything you set up and you you felt that okay all settings are uh, really fine uh, everything uh, each and every configuration well and good and you 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 set you tell them you have given heads up to the client that okay sir the setup has been completed and you can start working on the production system or uh, quality system okay for checking purpose and they have done their uh, their check uh, their end uh, with the help of uh, uh, other team members and 
they have come up okay if, if they say okay uh, they feel that uh, this erp that we that we have implemented or configured in the system in their company system is fine and uh, they said it is working fine and there then they will they will be giving a sign up okay okay this is fine and uh, we'll we'll go ahead with the final final uh, kind of uh, implementation you, you can go ahead with the uh, sign off project okay so they may ask uh, once uh, this erp once they have used as a green field or brown field they might have different projects uh, sorry different uh, subsidiary companies or branches which they wanted to implement the same uh, erp across their branches or subsidiaries so in that case what you what they do they will roll out this project from one subsidiary to another subsidiary okay if a company already implemented sap for one subsidiary okay and one from one subsidiary to another subsidiary company they wish to apply the same kind of configuration to the other subsidiaries is called as roll out this is the main uh, or uh, the uh, main component of rollout project okay i i would repeat myself if a company already okay when i say already which means it is existing already in the company and it it has got uh, uh, other subsidiary companies and they wanted this erp system to be implemented to the other subsidiary companies then that is called it as rollout so in the rollout project you would be having much pressure or much work around because it uh, in the implementation project we have already done at most all uh, the settings only that we have to transport the uh, erp system from a legacy to uh, i mean uh, from uh, the previous the existing one to the latest one to the subsidiary companies so that is something called as rollout project okay so uh, moving on to the upgrade project so what is upgrade project so the name itself says the upgrade project so let's say i, I would take uh, one example okay maybe uh, i'll take uh, an example of uh, whatsapp so in in earlier days when when uh, whatsapp uh, began uh, i mean it started uh, uh, given to the people and they have started using people started using whatsapp they only have given the chatting option and only calling option so this was the just lower version and starting begin version after which what whatsapp does they have come up with lot of other things when you say other things now that you have uh, different kind of options there uh, maybe uh, you have a uh, uh the uh, it has got upgraded with status update so you can put your status in it and it will be end up 20, uh, up to 24 hours and you also have a video call option as well so this is uh, something very uh, gen generic example i have given you to understand very well so uh, after upgrading you have got a lot of uh, facilities and i i think uh, it it has got a few more up updates yet to come so in the same fashion let's say uh, you take uh, uh, an example of mobile phone so in pre in previous days in in uh, yesterday yes, i would say so you have only the uh, keypad keypad mobile phones so you used to use keypad mobile phones then later on what happened so you have got flip phones after that what what all uh, kind of mobile phones that we have small screen touch screen mobile phones with it with the keypad and then later on the size of mobile phone is getting increased and you have got ram increase you have got rom increase so all these things are making you so comfortable while using any kind of software or any kind of application in the mobile phone with the help of upgradation so coming back to sap okay so i think this will end soon uh, please join back okay uh, from uh, from the older version to higher version this is call it as upgrade upgrade project okay earlier in 
at the inception we, we used to have r1 r2 r3 now that we are uh, in the r3 ecc system okay in different modules they they, they will be coming up in different uh, upgraded versions which will definitely help us uh, help us means uh, the client may it, it will be helpful to the client that they can report out uh, as per their requirement as per the day-to-day -day transactions okay so let's join back uh, then it will end up okay i'm ending this call and please join back okay right okay right so let me go back to this session again okay so i was saying about the upgrade project wherein uh, uh, when any older uh, session older uh, uh, implementation or uh, earlier it was already done the implementation and the company wanted to upgrade their self uh, for a better uh, user interface they will be uh, upgrading their uh, erp okay so that is something called uh, upgrade project okay so the the last one is uh, the support project so once all these things the implementation uh, under which greenfield we have done and uh, brownfield uh, let's say as, as an example we have uh, completed the brownfield either of the one or a rollout we have done and upgradation all these things are done and uh, uh, obviously there uh, there would be a lot of uh, issues okay so there would be a lot of issues once uh, anything is finalized and signed off, you will definitely be facing the issue. If it is a green field, since it is a new project completely and uh, we have set up a complete new setup from, from scratch in a company, they will definitely, uh, the company client feel uh, definitely un uh, uncomfortable and they, they may require some trainings as well. So uh, as part of implementation, we we will be giving the trainings to them. but also as part of uh, the support project we may require to uh, make them understand and uh, they uh, there could be some kind of uh, technical issues which the end user doesn't know so in that case uh, what a company does they they come to you okay boss i have uh, uh, i have implemented uh, uh, from legacy to sap or i have done uh, uh, greenfield okay so they, they say that uh, despite uh, implementing the new uh, ERP, so we are facing some of the other issues uh, such as uh, linkage is, uh, issues, linking issues or chat up account issues or depreciation issues or any, any kind of issues for that matter. So we have different kind of uh, configuration uh, uh, set up in uh, FICO or any, any of the module that we have. Of course, uh, any, any ERP across. So uh, the end user might not be having, uh, might I am sure they wouldn't be having knowledge on how to resolve the issue. Okay. So for that they come, they 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 uh, they reach us. So okay, we will be giving you the support project. Please support us. So you, uh, it is it is uh, at a higher level. Uh, management uh, will decide, and uh, as a consultant company. A company may charge crores of rupees so that will be decided by the companies uh, company head when i say head uh, maybe uh, uh, from financial uh, team or uh, ceo type ceo or um, management who is uh, 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 tackling with the clients okay so uh, once uh, this support project is in place whenever they have any issues they will uh, simply uh, come to you how they come to you they don't come uh, they, they don't simply ping you in teams or uh, any any medium of uh, uh, chatting windows they what they do they there is something called service catalog okay so service now i would say uh, all these days uh, this service now is a uh, bit uh, famous or uh, very populous, populous uh, uh, using this service now. So what they do, they raise the service now request. Of course, sometimes uh, we as a consultant also needs to raise the service now uh, request in the portal. So based on which 
what is the support that you are working on there are as a support team we 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 have uh, people may excel in few of the uh, areas so based on which uh, the consultant what he does he will be assigning the tickets or service now uh, request to the respective teams so on on the on top of that once the uh, support is i mean once the issue is resolved we'll uh, informing back to the client okay uh, the issue has been resolved uh, as you rightly raised in the service now so please check and let us know so once it is resolved completely then that ends there so uh, new maybe new issues would uh, spur up uh, on day to day the process goes on so as the process is uh, in, uh, settling down so the errors or issues will reduced mitigated so this is something uh, uh, brief a very uh, detailed about uh, the modules that we have okay functional as a functional consultant what you do under which what are the project that we have so i have given you the uh, complete uh, deep explanation on that let me go to the other stuff which will explain about the technical terms of erp let me know if you are able to see i think you can you are able to see so let's uh, let's talk about some uh, technical stuff here uh, let me get into technical stuff so with this uh, we'll be uh, we'll be done with the uh, theory part from tomorrow on we'll be starting the practical session so please uh, i would request to get the access for the server uh, uh, did you check with the uh, uh, institute if you are getting the server access i think you have uh, the gui ready in your system uh, yes, just that you need to get the access so uh maybe after this class if you have not got uh, the server server access by now just uh, touch base with the institute uh, people uh, they will provide you all they may be okay. root routed back to me but just uh, once you said okay or i'll also check with them if you if they say okay i'll i'll provide you the access okay 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 so that is a prerequisite and mandate to uh, move further otherwise you will be end up uh, nothing until you get the access to the server okay yes. so this system landscape let me get into the technical front uh, the system landscape something uh, is called it as uh, this server so when is when is a server so uh, we as a as a consultant we have different kind of servers okay so obviously server contains a lot of uh, information which which uh, departs uh, the settings to the different departments from there uh, uh, all the departments whatever uh, the things that you do hope you know what is server okay uh, do you know what is server by the way just uh, just in general terms no in general terms yes. uh, what is server server means provides provider mm, yeah so uh, i would say in simple terms uh, you what you said is right but uh, let me just put put that word in uh, technical terms let's say it's, uh, i'll take small example okay uh, when you go to bank okay i'll take the example of banks okay so bank has got uh, the server we go on mute please okay so bank has got the server which has which contains uh, uh, which contains the data of all the all the account holders so oh, this server is being maintained by the uh, official authorized official so when you go to a bank there are there are so many windows so in 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 that window if you go go to update your passbook or you you ask something to submit a, a kyc documents he he immediately 
click on your uh, hit uh, hit the enter button after giving you your account number there even if you go to uh, window 1 window 2 window 3 or window 4 or any window you go uh, any any window so the moment you give the account number it will give the details so where, how is it uh, possible so all these windows all computers have the linkage with server so from server it is coming the information from so that is called server so in uh, sap terms we have different servers that we have on screen if you can see i would say there is a, a development server that we have okay and there is a quality server and we have production server so i'll i'll get into detail um, so what is development server okay so the development server is something when when we talk about uh, uh, master data in the bank account i would i would uh, going uh, back to the bank example so master data so we will be maintaining the master data and transactional data so what is master data your account number so the, the one something which is created only once and can be used for repeatedly let's say you have created as a consultant or uh, um, uh, an erp which is being used in the bank you have account number your house number your aadhar number so all these details are entered only once they they do not enter uh, time and again right so this is something called master data so then what is uh, uh, transactional data the transactional data is uh, call it as the day to day transaction that you make in the uh, as as part of bank transactions so when you go to bank uh, or when you see in your uh, application or uh, uh, internet banking uh, after giving your details you will see all the details of uh, day to day transaction debits credits and de deposits uh, check bounces or check deposits or you have got something from other person so all these details are the transaction data what are the transactions that you have so all these being maintained by the consultant uh, in the development server okay so management managing the master data configuration is the first one is the customization that is call it as customization of master data so we'll touching uh, we'll be uh, we'll be doing the master data configuration in the customizing uh, as a uh, as named as customization okay so the transactional data will not be uh, doing anything this is only being uh, raised or entered by the end user okay so what what what, what uh, majorly what is the uh, what is that uh, master data consists of as i said unique numbers uh, pii numbers so they those will not be uh, those will be in the system forever so with the help of that uh, you can draw the reports you can uh, pull out the reports as per your requirement okay so once this master data or uh, the customization of master data managing the master data configuration so it 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 is uh, it will be going to the development server so the development server what happens the uh, if if uh, in this system in sap uh, there is uh, there are some uh, default uh, configurations already there if it if you don't have any default uh, i mean uh, if a client doesn't want a default settings okay it is not serving uh, the requirement as per the client or business scenario we need to take the help of ebaper okay what ebaper uh, does ebap is one of this uh, sap modules so he is also one of the consultants as i said it comes under technical consultant so what a mapper does uh, okay boss uh, we, we go to him as a functional consultant we go to him uh, we have uh, the reports or uh, some reports or uh, letters or any 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 window that that client needed they wanted uh, 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 some fields right side some fields left, left side some fields in middle 
so all these things just an example i'm i'm giving you so they uh, upon your instructions uh, as per the client you will take the help of ababer so what ababer does they design they design as per the requirement they develop so as and when the requirement comes if already anything is there they will develop it any new requirements they will upgrade it okay any new uh, screens need to be added they will add it only if already screen is there and they wanted some new tabs or new buttons to be installed there they will add it new forms let's say uh, if you uh, in my pre in the current example i i have taken the bank example you go to bank and you ask him sir can you give me the kyc form okay so what he does maybe he takes uh, print out of uh, from the uh, from his server so same fashion in icf also we have different forms that we we can print okay so he he will be uh, configuring as per the client requirement we will be uh, developing this with the help of ababer okay this is only when standard system is not helpful so we we take the help we will take the help with the ababer okay so usually in most of the softwares the project we could see same kind of landscape okay it is not only uh, as per sap sap or any kind of erps or any kind of softwares that a company is using we have got uh, th this development server is there always okay so we will discuss more on this what is master data and what is uh, transactional data and uh, how how it works okay so maybe i'll show you uh, on screen uh, you will you will understand in sap i will show you how it looks like i am trying to log in sap and i'll show you share the screen again are you able to see now this yes, is sir. this is sap main screen okay mm -hmm. so this is uh, the moment you click on the sap app uh, this thing okay this mm -hmm. window will open so this is something called launchpad wherein you can take uh, this thing so once you click on it you will be landed this page so hit enter okay so i am just uh, i'll tell you the path and all the jazz but just uh, to show you what how it looks uh, the master data on all these things just i got into chat of accounts don't worry we will be discussing uh, when we uh, have practice so this is uh, one of the companies in this server so we have all this data here maybe uh, can you go on mute so if you see uh, we have so many accounts here in real time scenario you will be uh, getting to see lot of screens a uh, lot of uh, gl accounts or uh, in the in the chat of account you, you could see lot of gl accounts okay so this is well, let's say i have created a bank account or a raw material this this is only one time i create so this is call it as master data so whatever you are hitting to the bank account or the vendor account or sundry debtors account this is generally call it as general ledger and the transactions that you are entering in under sundry debtors you may have 100 number of debtors with different names so when you get into uh, accounts payable uh, you will be getting to know all these things so when when i talk about sundry debtors uh, you will be creating uh, in the accounts payable uh, session so you have to you have to tag that sundry debtors here 
okay so all these things call it as master data the one which is showing on left side of the screen is master data so everything is maintained here the master data okay let's say uh, in the master data also let's say you have a type description control data create bank interest keyword translation information information see company code and all these things are being developed developed by above maybe if you wanted one more thing just an example forms if you want forms right here in the in the banking scenario i'm just giving an example not really uh, correlate that example but just giving an, an example or if you want something uh, a tab called forms as you could see edit cost element edit set all these things you may also need forms here so what he does a paper he'll write a program so with the help of a paper you can do n number of things so that's the beauty of uh, configuration okay so uh, moving back to the uh, same slide right so after developing uh, uh, so all these things are uh, once the help of with the help of developer we will be uh, giving back to the client okay we have created as per your requirement we will not be telling that we have taken the help of ever so at the end the result should be as per the client requirement so however uh, maybe uh, uh, i'll i'll give you uh, the details uh, of how ever uh, read the transaction so in functional terms we call it as uh, gl account or any field uh, description we have a lot of fields in the uh, when you are posting any entry we have document date we have posting date we have a reference we, uh, we have a header data we have footer data so all these things are being called it as uh, in in terms of functional consultant but when it comes to uh, a paper technical consultant he, they have got their own uh, terms so that is called the technical names of the uh, erp so that is call it as table so all these things are saved in the table so we do not really require to remember the tables but sometimes something if you have to make any changes to the header data or the transactional data or the master data you need to tell the ebapper okay i need this table to be altered or edited okay you you simply do not go him okay boss i want uh, document date wanted to be uh, replaced with some something else or you replace uh, that uh, this document date uh, place uh, is not good and please uh, uh, move it from left to right so he doesn't understand that language you have to tell him okay for document uh, date we have a table name for that table name you need to give him okay xyz table name you need to move from left to right or maybe an example i have just given you so don't worry i'll give you the table content as well so you will be the, uh, the more you read out the tables more you get the knowledge on it okay so when we need to so all that i wanted to tell you is when we need to convey something to a paper we need to tell him in the table language not in the gl accounting language okay then only he'll be able to understand okay so <clears throat> that is uh, something called developing and we have utst so are you feeling bored or uh, bouncing okay right it is interesting okay, right? right yes yeah, sir yeah. okay so coming back to utst so what is utst it is a uh, uh, unit testing so uh, simple terms it is abbreviated as unit testing okay so i'll tell you what is a unit testing so we generally don't involve uh, in this activity but sometimes we may need to involve because it's depend on the resource availability right so if the employees of other modules are not available at that time then management may request you to test request you to test what is 
what is that they request you to test so something which you have already customized and developed with the help of uh, with the help of abapper okay so we need to test it is not our job but uh, they, there are different team uh, testing team is there they will be sitting right beside you okay as a consultant you you need to confirm them okay i have done these settings here so please check please test them okay in real time scenario uh, when you go to um, a showroom so all these days uh, this electronic electronic e bikes are really uh, in boom so when you go to any of this e, e showroom what you do not even e bikes but any any vehicle that you wish to buy you go to showroom and you ask him for a test ride so when you when you say test ride it is completely readily available right but before uh, coming to the showroom there are a lot of test rides might have happened from the technical point of view right so when when you ask for test ride uh, you you will you you take that uh, bike and you go for a testing so in the same fashion background uh, before it comes to showroom there are uh, technical people who mechanic or electricians uh, who worked on it they do the test okay it is uh, working fine or not are there any anything to be developed in this motorcycle so once it is done the, he will say okay hope you have seen sometimes in 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 laptops or computers or uh, any any most small uh, gadgets you could see okay symbol which means they have given the heads up that it is fine for go ahead once testing is fine once testing is done we can go ahead in every project let's uh, i think uh, from 2004 uh, i think from 2004 uh, uh, or so i don't really remember the testing was really uh, uh, very boom because as per the company law the testing has been mandated so at that time most of the people learned testing so during this uh, 2004 and after that so it was uh, in full swing actually so the people learned so many testing uh, courses so they 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 were being learned uh, testing uh, within 3 months and they get jobs be it uh, ba or bcom or bsc any guys so generally testing means it is a technical thing who used to do but in 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 those days since the testing is really in full swing and it is mandated every company they started recruiting people whatsoever they have graduated in okay so this is uh, more demand this was more demand all these days this is now it is settled okay so in testing also we have different kind of testings what are those so we have unit testing <clears throat> what is unit testing once the testing once this implementation is over so you will take some uh, uh, few fields let's say uh, one 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 area maybe uh, accounts payable is a unit or accounts receivable is a unit so uh, they take as a unit and they will test it once this is done okay i am telling you what kind of testing that we have okay one is unit testing maybe if you wish to write you can write it down or you can revisit the video you can revisit the video you will get to see all these things you can play the video slowly and make note of it if you miss anything well in the class okay after unit testing we also have user acceptance testing what what does it mean user acceptance testing means once the testing and implementation is done and uh, with the help of abapar we have developed the system we have configured everything and we have done the testing and we, we what we do we give it to the client for testing after doing so so as i said in the in, in my example you go to a showroom for a test ride so this is as same as user acceptance testing so once you feel okay to take the bike 
you say okay i am fine to take the bike so that is called acceptance there so that is uh, more uh, uh, more in satisfactory of the client so the other one is integration testing so integration testing in so i think uh, we will be uh, running short of time we will we will cover uh, at most whatever we can cover and we'll discuss a uh, few things tomorrow in theory part and we can start the practical thing okay i think uh, we we have uh, been covering for more than 45 minutes okay we will be ending okay. in 5 minutes okay so i'll i'll okay. Okay. i'll stop here at uh, development server then we will discuss the quality and production tomorrow okay sir if it is possible otherwise we will take uh, take up uh, this uh, sandbox tomorrow okay okay so okay. these uh, the user acts after uh, the user acceptance testing is over we have integration so integration means so we have uh, as i said we have different modules integrated with fico be it uh, mm be it fi uh, be it just a minute uh, you go. yeah so be it fi uh, uh, fi mm or fi sd uh, anything uh, am asset uh, asset accounting asset management so all these things are uh, interlinked we need to link them so after this integration is done we need to uh, do the testing also okay so we also have regression testing what is regression testing any change any change in existing system whether things are working fine or not okay so i if i take an example of a gl account which, which i have created let's say uh, let's say a salary account salary gl i have created and i am testing it if i am posting the salary account with the help of uh, crediting the bank account whether it is uh, hitting correctly or not or any issues are coming up or any maybe uh, when i say issue uh, what could be the issue is so number ranges maybe or bank account is not uh, properly set up or any kind of maybe period period is closed so any any kind of issues that we have so we need to test that so we have different tools in testing maybe it maybe it depends on uh, uh, the company's uh, uh migration so yeah, when i say uh, depends on company they it is their wish what they wanted to test it as okay most of the time you get support projects this testing is also one of this uh, it comes under support project i if you recollect uh, we have uh, different projects right so this is one of the project we can take it as one of the project so in front of a uh, user we need to test it this is call it as acceptance test as i said so integration we have covered so all the uh, if, uh, if my uh, amsd since this session is getting over i'm just giving you uh, uh, a summary of it what we have discussed okay. so after integration what we have done the regression testing as i said if ex existing uh, process is running properly or not as per the client requirement and by adding new requirements okay if any issues uh, uh, raised by the client we need to address them okay so maybe if i talk about uh, the uh, regression testing if i take an example uh, i have a tv a led tv uh, which is not a smart tv but buying a, a, a fire stick if i take an example of amazon fire stick it works as a smart tv so after buying that you will uh, you will install it to your tv uh, with the help of usb so you will test it so that is called uh, if any issue